Hello and welcome back to Three Houses uh, Blue Lions Maddening Mode. We are in Deirdre, Um And before I get started on the chapter itself, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, from a narrative standpoint because I think... Um, I just think there's some interesting stuff to talk about and even though that's not in general what I'm uh, doing with this playthrough... I guess I just feel a burning urge to express my thoughts. So, <clears throat> first thing is that I feel like this little business here does more to pay off the idea of Claude the Schemer than anything that happens in Verdant Wynn. Um, so, if in case you don't know what's going on here, um, because you haven't played it yourself, um... Claude requests help from Dimitri, and then um, the the way that it's ex ex bleh, the way that it is explained as um, as like the in in, in the uh, dialogue leading into the chapter is that uh, Claude has set up his forces in such a way as to lead the Imperial troops uh, deeper into the city in such a way that they will get uh, pincered between his forces and the, um, and the and the Fargus forces, which is like, and then, you know, there's a remark about like, wow, Claude like basically bet everything on, you know, his, his um, like uh, belief that we would show up on time. And, and like, you can, I guess you can, Say what you will about how reasonable that was or not, but I, I really think it, like I said, it, it pays off the idea better than like anything he particularly does in Verdant Wind or really Crimson Flower for that matter. Um, the other thing is that I, I just feel like this is, is so much of a better like setup than than the Grinder Field thing that I complained about so much uh, during that chapter. Like it's it makes so much more sense. Like that. You know, Claude would make an effort to reach out to Dimitri, um, than what than the mess that was that chapter. So yeah, I mean, I think this is a big improvement. Um, I guess also uh, the I don't know. I guess the fact that this is the Dare Drew map again isn't. Uh, as remarkable because it is uh, most of the same, except it does lack the big. There's there's other uh, maps where you have these big Almiran ships here, so that's like one major difference. Um, and I guess maybe that means uh, that um, well, there's a scene where they say that like the ships are like out to sea with the people of the the city. So, um, but maybe if that means Claude isn't actually. I, I kind of came into this thinking Claude was gonna just. Book it to Almira after this is over, but maybe he's not. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but um, yeah, I just think all of this to me, all of this like uh, flows a lot better than what happened at Grander Field. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Meanwhile, we've got we're really starting to get. Um, the, the enemies are really starting to scale like cra crazy at this point um, because we're getting a lot of like the like less common like either tier f or the less common tier three and then tier four enemy types so like mortal savant heroes um, we got I guess it was a Oh yeah, it's over here. Like we got some this paladin with thirty-two AS, a Pegasus with forty-one. That one's only got twenty-eight, but like the heroes have forty AS. Um, I mean, I guess it's not quite as ridiculous as it was in the last chapter, if anything, where um, they had like the, all the War Masters. But yeah, there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of tough enemies on this map. But <laughs> it is once again 
a defeat commander map. And so Lord Arundel over here uh, only has 22 AS. He does have 40 protection and 69 HP, which is a lot. Um, but he's only got 22 avoid. That's not a lot. So yeah, we're gonna do the thing again. Um, I got everybody all situated, ready to do it. So we're taking the same squad. We're gonna use Linhardt's warp again to get uh, Marianne into position. And yeah, I mean, it's working for me. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. There are some guys over here who have some uh, items that we can grab, but uh, luckily I expect to be able to take them all out. Um, on the first turn, so I don't think that'll be an issue. So, without any further ado... The leader of the Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, there's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what that idiot is referring to. Maybe Cornelia. Let's hurry to his rescue. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. Oh, we're late? I thought we were right on time. He says earlier that we're right on time, but maybe he's just messing with us. I don't know. Okay, so uh, we're definitely going to do that. And then um, I'm awake. I'm gonna check. Yeah, I guess there's no reason not to just do this now. So, uh, I think I'm gonna do this. Well, no, I should probably make sure that I get, this guy does, I, I do need to get out of the way so Marianne can move past him. So, um, I don't Ready when you are. think Ingrid can quite one around these guys because they've got a little, they're a little too durable. Can almost do it. I was thinking of having... Yeah, Sylvain wouldn't be able to get a kill anyway. Um, nor would Mercedes. I was thinking of having Dimitri just run up here and just blow all three of these guys up with a gambit. Um, I think I prefer... Well, it probably doesn't matter. Let's just... Just hit the guy in the middle, I guess. Okay, so now that should uh, get us to where Ingrid can take out the guy on the left. Actually, we could also just use Byleth to do it for that matter. I don't What's think there's anybody strategy? else. So, Marion's gonna move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or so, and then Byleth from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. So, yeah, let's just have Violet do that. Take out this guy, I guess. Ingrid, take out the other guy. I'm getting. Uh, it turns out. Alert stand's not really that relevant if you uh, never enter an enemy phase. <laughs> okay, so just to check on the situation over here, Thunderbrand is a guaranteed one round kill. Um, he does have anti cavalry, whatever, so we will be using that. So that's all good to go. Uh, Sylvain, point? let's make sure that you can take out this guy. You can very easily. Okay. Um, actually... 
the... Well... Hmm. Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna go mess with this. So, Ash should be able to take out the Pegasus or not. What? Oh. Crap. That's kind of a problem, actually. Might need to do something like that. Because I don't think even I'll Felix is going to be able to, to do a whole lot here without being able to double. I totally did, did not notice that. Um, yeah, I mean, that would work, but okay. So let's, let's see here. Yes, yeah, so that's the fast one. That guy's got 32 speed. Oh, crap. I guess I... Hmm. Uh, Ash, I think... And double this guy? Yeah. But... Doesn't kill him. Could use the inexhaustible to kill that guy. Can Mercedes hit one of these guys? She actually can. So one option is to have Mercedes, instead of going this way, come help with this mess. That might be favorable. I mean, it's certainly more valuable to take these guys out than to take these guys out. Let's see the item drops. So, alright, given, given that, we might as well have the net... She's one damage short. Ugh. That's aggravating. Um. Shoot. I could have given her the... the I, I gave Byleth the... For this uh, battle, the Oak Cane Shield, which negates crits, because Arendelle has like 45 crit. Could have given Annette the Speed Ring, but I didn't, because I was like, eh, it doesn't, it's not going to matter. I missed that it actually would matter. Whoops. All right. And unfortunately, Mercedes is too far away to support an attack by Annette. Um, I don't think she gets, like, a special might bonus from anybody else either. Yeah, irritating. But we can have... Look, the Imperial Army Supply Corps attacking... Okay, so it's like... So this is why they drop weapons, is because they're su the supply core? Sure, why not? Um, okay, so we can get this kill with Felix. With the Axe of Zoltan. Oh, I didn't remember that it had uh, armor effectiveness. Interesting. I wonder how that compares to... The Axe of Oaken Vasara. Oh, I was thinking Felix is going to be get it, be able to get in range of that Pegasus. You know what? Let's make him be able to do that. Uh, oh, is that not possible? Without taking this guy out first? I see. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll just let Annette do that. And then... Let's, uh... Ready when you are. Okay, so Ingrid actually can get the kill here with a Silver Lance. Cool. Too slow. I great. All right, so we will probably want. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll want to give that to somebody. How does it compare to the Rafael gem? This thing nullifies crits. I guess I should have, could have just given that to Byleth. 
whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, Alright, Ash. I don't think you can kill either of these guys unless... Oh, you can kill this guy. Let's say unless you use the inexhaustible... Sylvain surely can't do a whole lot to this guy. So I think what we'll do... Sylvain, take this guy out. And then Ash... There's no way... You're doing this without using the inexhaustible, so just go for it, I guess. It's not like I'm using it a lot anyway. Okay, and then on we go. Your very presence has foiled our plans yet again. Yep. Do our hopes end here? I'm assuming he doesn't actually die here. Nice. I'll use this power for the greater good. Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. Uncle. You He's not your uncle. You know something. What did Cornelia No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. Oh, he is dead. Interesting. Okay. Well, I didn't really think that was what where that was gonna go. Um, I'll go ahead and go through this just to see what happens with the quad. He protected Judith. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, anytime now. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. Uh, okay, again, then. Even if we had managed to capture him alive. Judging by the way he was acting. Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. Claude. Time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? <laughs> I really felt that way. You would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But... Okay, yeah, he's, that ends today. he's out. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. Is he giving me fail not? Oh, damn. <laughs> Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Well, Felix is gonna love this. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to leave Fodland, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. 
All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Yeah, okay. That's that's about right. I mean, they, they've, in each, for each route, they got to find some way to remove the other lords from the table, and I guess, you know, I, I'm not... Maybe the explanation here is that, like, because his ambition is to unite Fodlin, he doesn't necessarily care if he does it himself or if Dimitri does it. Although, in that case, why wouldn't he, why would he be bothered if Aelgard did it? Eh, I don't know. I'm leaving Fodlin. There are things I have to do. Dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops. I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. Duh. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. Got the fail knot. Yeah, we're definitely giving that to Felix. Actually, Felix just got to the point where he could, um... Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? Felix just got to the point where he doesn't... He's not weighed down by silver bows. Um, so he kind of has an open inventory slot. I used the killer bow for that, but I think I'm just going to give him the, uh, fail knot instead. Anyway, alright, I'll stop this here. I didn't intend to, like go into the story stuff too much but i just wanted to i wanted to like follow up on the whole claude thing i think that was like i think overall that was the best send-off that any of the like sort of third wheel lords have had in any of the routes that i've played um so that is to say like you know claude and claude is kind of an afterthought in, in crimson flower dimitri just like shows up out of nowhere and then dies in verdant wind but you know claude got a got a pretty good send off here and i appreciate that i just wish grander wasn't so ridiculous and stupid <laughs> but but like if you if, if he were just not there like if you just cut claude out of the picture at grander entirely this whole thing would be would would be much better than it actually was um, but as it was, this part of it was good, so good job, guys, on that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, next time, maybe we'll play a chapter that takes more than one turn. Who can say? Either way, until then.